that this video has been requested for quite a while and it is finally mostly done so it's time to show it to you i'm not going to go into like every drawer and every detail i'm going to keep it kind of brief but if you have any questions let me know a good majority of the stuff that has filled this closet and made it what it is has been from ikea so i will definitely be linking all of those things down below there's a couple things from amazon as well and then there's a couple custom things which i will point out but of course can't link those so let's go ahead and get started with this side of the room so when you first walk through the door this is what is in front of you i just have this little console which is really very office based so this closet is my closet office i call it a clothis and so it is all things chic professor and the professor part as well as chic professor so i've got a printer i've got my stuff that I need for my classes. I have some organizational bins. These are from Ikea. And I believe that this is from Office Depot or Staples. I'll try to link that as well. I think it's the Martha Stewart collection and a couple other things. I also have a little Amazon Echo here so that I can ask questions like, what time is it or what's the weather, which can be really helpful when I am getting ready. So I've got that in there as well. I also have a handy dandy little step ladder because I am quite short and the ceilings in this room are really tall, so I really tried to use the vertical space. So it's really nice to have that. Over here, I have a pack system from Ikea and this is entirely selling stuff. A couple different things. I've got clothes that I am selling for Chic Professor and then I also have a couple drawers and then this organizational piece down here pulls out and that's from Ikea as well. So this has been really nice to have just to keep all my selling stuff together. There's one more selling piece as well. This is actually my wedding dress. It's preserved up here. It's a bag I'm selling. There's a Louis Vuitton bag behind there that is filled with dust bags. And then um, I'm selling the Strathberry bag. So that's in there. The other thing that I have is from Amazon and this is super helpful to have. So this just pulls out and I can hang things. So usually if there's something I have not yet listed, I like to hang it on here so I don't put it in here and then just forget to do it. So this has been really nice to have. And then this I just kind of threw up here, but this is a little poster, I guess, a little card. It was actually at Thanksgiving. It was my placemat from my nephew who's five and it said Auntie Jessica, but it says Jessica and this is a boot and this is a purse. So he just got it down perfectly and I wanted to put this in here so that's this area and then if we come over here we get to this mirror it's really nice to have an angled full-length mirror that's really a helpful thing to have this is from one of my students in an intercultural communication class I just taught they had to take a piece of fashion from another culture and talk about it and so this is fashion from Korea I think it's called a hembo and so she gave this to me and I just thought that was so sweet. So I hung that over here. The other thing I wanted to quickly point out about this mirror is that it actually has some storage in the back of it. There's a couple little places to hang things. So I keep this big fuzzy blanket that I got from Home Goods in there. And that is what I use as a base for a lot of the time that I am taking pictures of things and filming things. So that one I can just hang back there, which is really convenient. And I also just kind of used this area above the radiator because I didn't want to put anything super fragile just to put some of my hats. Our walls are plaster, which has been a little bit of an adventure in this house. My, our house is from the 1870s, so it's really quite old. And I just used thumbtacks to throw these up here because they're so lightweight. So that was a really just easy way to kind of organize those and find a space for it and use this space a little bit. Over here, we get to a custom piece. So this beautiful bay window, which I call a half turret. <laughs> so I always wanted a turret. This is custom made for this spot and there's some storage underneath. So my lights that I usually film with are under there. And we also had the cushion custom made, but I did buy these big pillows, which have some pattern on the other side, but I kind of hide that. <laughs> The, these are from the Christmas tree shop and they're really cozy and big and comfortable. So I did like these a lot and I can link those. I also have this clock up here, which I believe I bought from the Christmas tree shop as well. So if I can find that, I will link that. But that is this area. It's been really nice to have a place to just sit, work on my laptop. I have a little lap desk that I use on there as well. Anything that I need to do in there. 
Then we come over to the part that you all have seen a ton of different times because it's the background for most of my videos. And I've got just my mannequins over here and then I've got all my bags and shoes. So I won't go into too much detail about each one, but I did buy these little step ladders from Amazon in order to put kind of my smaller bags up. I've got my totes in these two areas for work. I also have some special occasion shoes. So I've got shoes from, uh, this is the first pair of shoes I ever bought, like new, like nice pair of shoes from LK Bennett. And I've also got my wedding shoes on display in here. So that's just kind of a nice thing to have displayed. And then on the bottom, I've got some long shots. And then in here, I have all of my smaller crossbody bags. So these are all Billy bookshelves from Ikea. So I've got these billies for the larger ones and then the small one works perfectly for all of my small bags. And then again, some more big totes, another one of those storage cases for a couple different things and then I just used some boxes. On the bottom of these, because they didn't fit in my shoe shelf, I wanted to have enough room for my boots. So that's where my over the knee boots go as well. Shoes are organized by type and color. So I have mostly pumps because that's what I wear all the time. So I've got a bunch of different pumps and then I've got flats, sandals, sneakers, and ankle boots. I really like that I can adjust the shelves with the billies. It makes it really easy and I think it's a nice clean look. So I'm happy to have those. Above me, I have the most important piece of clothing that I'm ever gonna wear and that is my wedding dress. And a few of you have asked to see some pictures of my dress and also I've explained in the past that it was my grandmother's dress and my mother wore it as well and we each customized it to be our own. So my mom got these for me as a wedding present. So I've got my picture in the middle, my mom to the right and my grandmother to the left. Then we come to the last wall. So when we moved into this house, there were some closet spaces already in here, which is why we knew that this was going to be my closet space. I also wanted to quickly point out that these are covered, but these are not my billies. That's because I do use it as a filming background. And when I tried to put doors on it, there was way too much reflection. Plus, because these are plaster walls, it was a little more difficult to attach them to the walls. And they would have been a little heavy with the doors. We're, I'm not going to stay in this room forever once we start a family, I probably will move to a smaller and a little bit different space. So I didn't really want to put giant holes into the walls behind here. So that's what happened here. But here we already had this frame created and it's got three different closet sections. So these were doors that we just bought from Ikea, sliding doors that are supposed to go on a large pack system, but they fit onto this space pretty well. So organizationally, I just push this open and I can kind of get to one and a half bays. So this is tops. These are things that I am hoping to wear soon. This one is a little bit longer, so I've got dresses, and then I just have uh, some like sweaters and cardigans there, uh, zip ups, I guess, and cardigans there. It's on these rails, which is so nice and convenient. And then on this one, I've got blazers and suits, and then pants and skirts, so I've got the bottom. And then on the bottom of that, I've just got a couple <laughs> different random shoes, like flip-flops and things like that. And I can also get to my dresses over this way. I've got some nice storage space at the top, which I just put some curtains in front of, and that houses some suitcases and some boxes and things like that. I also put this in here, so it's attached to the wood over there. And I really just keep it down most of the time because it's not in the way, but this allows me to hang things, so which is really nice when I'm trying to figure out an outfit or something like that, I can just hang up here or use it as a filming background. We put just some plain white paper, big, big giant sheets of paper on front of these doors to stop the reflection. And this is also where I move my mannequins to take all my listing pictures. So kind of use this space as double duty. Then we move on to the last Billy bookshelf. This one does have the reflection in it. So sorry about that, but I don't really use this one as a background. These are all of the shoes that I am selling. And then there's also some drawers on the bottom, which houses some more shoes, jeans, sweaters, things that I didn't really want to be hanging. So that's there. I've got a bunch of shoe boxes for the things that I've kept up there, as well as another bag of dust bags. So that's where I, where I keep all of those things. 
I have very few purse boxes, actual handbag boxes, but actually I'm just realizing I misspoke before. This is where dust bags are, but in that Louis Vuitton bag, I have multiple boxes stacked within one another. So that's how I'm kind of storing all of those things. And then I come over to the last little section. I bought this really cute little, I think they call it like an L-shaped table or a U-shaped table right here, which I could also pull over to my window bench if I needed a, a bigger surface. But I just keep jewelry and perfume and that sort of thing on here. So this I bought from a TJ Maxx, a Home Goods. Is it Marshall's Home Goods? No, I think it's yeah, Marshall's Home Goods. Whatever it is, it's Home Goods. <laughs> I bought this from Home Goods. And then I just have this gold garbage can down there, which kind of matches everything. And that is from the Christmas tree shop. So that was a nice place to get a bunch of things. And I'll link this jewelry organizer as well if I can find it. I'm pretty sure that it's either from Amazon or Home Goods, but I really do like how it displays everything. And then it has these little kind of buckets for earrings and things as a little catch all. Over here, I keep my reusable bag. So this one is from Sarah Flint. This one is from a day and in here I just keep a bunch of like not dust bags necessarily but the bags that I throw my shoes in to take them to work and just kind of any little bags that I need there's just a bunch of reusable bags so I just throw those on the door over here and last but not least we get to the middle of the room so these are Ikea dressers and again I will link those down below this is two different dressers put together which was much cheaper than getting a customized island and I could put a top on it, but I don't necessarily want to. My husband actually added some wheels to these so I can wheel them around the room as I need to. And one of the reasons I didn't attach it is I can also take them out of the room if I can take them one at a time, which is nice. And the wheels are really great because if I wanna just move all of this down, then I can have a bunch of floor space if I need that for something. So I really like having this on wheels. And I think that it looks nice put together. So I'm really, really pleased with that. In this box over here, I just keep all of the stuff that I keep in my purses for work. So I've got, you know, folders and I usually have like my wallet in there if I need it. And I also have like sunglasses, like all that kind of stuff. It's just a big catch all. This is a catch all as well, but it's really a selling catch all. So I've got different measuring tapes, including a cloth measuring tape, pens, pencils, scissors, that sort of thing, just a candle to make it a little nice in here, and then a box of tissues because you always need that. So otherwise, I can just kind of move these things out of the way if I need this big surface to work on as well, which is nice. And this front dresser is all of my dressing things. It's, it's an, just a typical dresser for me. So in here, I have like underwear, socks, bras, tights, that sort of thing. Um, shirts and sweatshirts, pajamas, this is sweaters, and then down here is workout clothes. So that works out really nicely. And I'll just show you one of the drawers. I did put this organizer, which is from, I think the children's section in Ikea, and I'll link that below. It's really, it fits in these drawers pretty nicely, and I find it very helpful to organize. So I've got fuzzy socks versus regular socks so they don't all get mixed up. <laughs> On the other side, this is really my selling side. This one has boxes and tissue paper and air paper, thank you cards, that sort of thing is all on this side. So it's really nice to be able to have that organized and I use some of the same organization in those same boxes on this side as well. So that is pretty much this space. I am so excited to kind of have this beautiful dream closet in this great big giant room. And I had to be a little creative in order to make it do everything that I wanted it to do, but it's worked out really nicely and I, I'm loving this space. So I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. If you have any questions for me, let me know. And again, I will link as many of the things down below as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.